God's people delivered. Christ redeems me unto eternal life. And the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Isaiah 35 10 It is at midnight that God manifests His power for the deliverance of His people. The sun appears shining in its strength. Signs and wonders follow in quick succession. The wicked look with terror and amazement upon the scene, while the righteous behold with solemn joy the tokens of their deliverance. Everything in nature seems turned out of its course. Dark, heavy clouds come up and clash against each other. In the midst of the angry heavens is one clear space of indescribable glory. Whence comes the voice of God, like the sound of many waters, saying, It is done. That voice shakes the heavens and the earth. There is a mighty earthquake, such as was not since men were upon the earth. So mighty an earthquake and so great, the firmament appears to open and shut. The glory from the throne of God seems flashing through. The mountains shake like a reed in the wind, and raged rocks are scattered on every side. Graves are opened, and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth awake, some to eternal life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. All who have died in faith of the third angel's message come forth from the tomb glorified to hear God's covenant of peace with those who have kept his law. The voice of God is heard from heaven declaring the day and hour of Jesus' coming and delivering the everlasting covenant to his people. Like peals of loudest thunder, his words roll through the earth. The Israel of God stand listening with their eyes fixed upward. Their countenances are lighted up with his glory and shine as did the face of Moses when he came down from Sinai. The wicked cannot look upon them, and when the blessing is pronounced on those who have honored God by keeping his Sabbath holy, there is a mighty shout of victory. Amen.